Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a, a quick diversion from my standard uh, edible food forest and take a quick look at uh, some hardy tropical looking plants that we're growing in what we call our, our dinosaur garden. And so we're going to take a quick look here. Okay, for me, this is kind of the star of the show right now. Well, not Duke, but uh, <laughs> that's my dog Duke. But this is a um, a royal empress tree. Uh, the uh, makes these huge leaves, and let's go up and take a quick look at how big these guys are. I don't know if you can see that, but they're good. Probably some of them two and a half to three feet. Um, wide and long and this guy is the um, oh good grief I totally went blank on the name <laughs> well we'll come back to it I'm sure it'll come to me uh, but down below here we have some Fatsia uh, this is um, Regersia and a little bit of uh, may apple down in there and some sedums now this is another pretty impressive one uh, this guy is the umbrella plant and it also has a good oh, two foot plus diameter leaves so you can see the leaves are also very large on that one um, Here's a gunnera, a fairly young gunnera, which will also get massive leaves when it gets full size. But uh, this guy is still fairly young and in a little bit of shade. It would probably be doing a bit better if it was in uh, a bit more sun, but seems to do fine here and is actually kind of spread out a little bit this year. Started to kind of pop out behind over here also. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but but there is some some spread to the to the crown uh, here's a voodoo lily uh, another one of the uh, the umbrella trees or umbrella plant and down here is a um, a tetrapanix and this is a cultivar called rex which this guy gets huge and was huge but we had some weather that went down into the single digits and unfortunately it didn't like single digits. So uh, that was a, a problem for it. And this is actually a shield leaf Regersia, which also will have huge cool leaves like the, um, like the umbrella plant and whatnot, but, but it is a very flat leaf. So it looks a little bit different. And uh, so, so this is kind of the end of the season. It hasn't been watered much. And so, some things are looking a little bit tired, but um, anyway, so that's kind of a quick look at the, the dinosaur garden and that monster there. Real quick, I remembered the name. It's a Palwania tomentosa. So it's like Paul Awania tomentosa. And this guy grew from seed and it's only maybe three years old. So definitely grows big and grows fast. And what I do every year, because it is hardy and would just become a giant tree if I didn't, I just cut it back almost to the ground within like two feet of the ground. And in one year's time, all of that grows back. And so it's a kind of a monster, but the kind of monster you want with a tropical look. All right, well, thank you for watching.